Hi, my name's Doug. I'm with the city of Pinellas Park. And today we're gonna to be reading The Book Hog by Greg Pozzoli with permission from Disney Hyperion. I hope you enjoy the story. Books are for sharing. There's our book hog. Look at all those books. The book hog loved books. And he has quite a few. He loved the way they smelled and the way the pages felt in his hooves. He especially liked the ones with pictures. He picked them up here and there, anywhere he could find them. But the book hog had a secret, a big secret. He didn't know how to read. He had never learned. He was surrounded by books, but the book hog couldn't read a single one. The book hog went to bed every night without a bedtime story. One morning he went out looking for more books. He came to a long, low building and he smelled some books inside. He snuck through the stacks, adding several books to his pile. But when a soft voice said, would you like to join us for story time? It was Miss Olive, the librarian. Pick out a book and I'll read it with you. The book hog blinked, then he swallowed. You'll read a book with me? Of course, said Miss Olive, as many as you would like. This gave the book hog an idea. Wait here, he said. On his little scooter. He went home and then came back with some books. That's a lot of books. Miss Olive led story time and the book hog listened closely. He heard many stories, some funny, some sad, some kind of in between. Over time and with practice, the book hog learned to read on his own. He grew to love books even more, not just the way they looked and felt, but for the stories they told. <laughs> Check out all the people. And yes, the book hog still takes a lot of books. But he always brings them back. The end. Once again, thanks for joining me for The Book Hog by Greg Pozzoli. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe and healthy, everyone.